for the bride and groom. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Don't be the last one. I can't think of any. Pretty much everything. She should know by today. So. Okay. And Keith too. Awesome. I just want to congratulate you and Nikki. May you have a long, blessed marriage. Welcome in the new little one. I'm so happy for you. Love you both. Yeah, congratulations. And Keith, just one word of advice to you. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> advice. Keith. You're always wrong. She's always right. See? Don't argue. Walk away. Don't say a word. Take about it tomorrow. Okay? And you'll get along just fine. Um, the bride and groom. Congratulations, Keith. You're like a brother to me. I wish you and nothing, you and Nikki, nothing but the best. Congratulations. And the best of luck. And the best of luck. And um, <laughs> I normally prefer real flowers, but I think I should go fake ones. Get down here, buddy. Matt. I don't know how to say You know what? I would not I'm going to no plead the fist. All right. <laughs> so what? Um, probably, yeah. I would say groomsmen again on the outside. <laughs> You want to say anything to Nikki or Keith? Huh? I know you, Keith and Nikki. Nikki would be good together and I love you guys. And that's it. I hope you'll be very, very happy. Awesome. I've been waiting for this moment for so long An answered prayer, I know you are the one I give to you my heart and soul With a love that will never grow old In my life, I can see that you were made for me You'll be there to catch me if I fall All the days I have prayed And the love that I have saved With this ring I'm giving you my own I thank God for the gift He's given me A love that's strong for all eternity I give to you all of my days With this ring I thee wed for all of ring, your way. I give it as a symbol of my love In for my you I affirm with all of my heart that, you of heart that, this, is that this is forever. This ring is a token of my commitment and faith that I now release, that I now release. in all Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I pray in the love with this ring I thee wed, with this ring I thee wed, I give it as with a symbol of my love for you. Give it as a symbol of my love for you. I affirm with all of my heart. I affirm with all of my heart. With this, ring, this is forever. I give this is to you my it is a token own. of my commitment. It is a token of my commitment. And faith. And faith. That I now and release. That I now release. In Jesus, in Jesus' name. Times may change, but our love will remain. As we look back on this day. By these rings, the test by virtue time, that living the is authority now vested in me as a minister of the gospel, according to the laws of this state, 
I pronounce you, husband and wife, united in the pure and holy bonds of wedlock. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Friends, it is my pleasure to introduce to you tonight for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Keith and Paul Kelly. With this ring, I'm giving you my all. With this ring, I'm giving you my all. With this ring, I'm giving you my all. She's also been there through rough times and even shed a tear or two with me. We've come to know each other so well that we have an understanding that goes beyond words. Our friendship has spanned the trials and tribulations of our high school years, the distance of college years, and now years beyond that, where we're entering into the next phases in our lives. Regardless of the distance or time spent apart, I know that neither one of us has ever taken our friendship for granted. From broken fingers and cheerleading, to ice cream cakes in August, we've shared many great milestones. We've celebrated birthdays, graduations, jobs, weddings, and life in general. Through the past years, we've been through the highs and lows with one another. But today we celebrate one of the highest highs you can have in life. We celebrate you moving from a miss to a missus. Keith, you are a very lucky man. This woman cherishes you and your love for her. I knew from the first time she told me that you held a very special place in her heart. Through the years, I've seen your love and your friendship grow. It's a pleasure welcoming you into our family and also into mine and Nikki's friendship. I look forward to many more years and many more memories with you. So I ask you today, take care of my best friend. As the two of you grow from a me to a we, and now into a family. I am so ecstatic for the both of you. You truly complement one another. You met as friends, and it has evolved into so much more. I'm honored to have you allow me to be a part of your special day. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to offer a toast to my wonderful friend Nikki, her perfect husband, and a true love. I love you both. For those of you that don't know, I met Keith over eight years ago at Southern Illinois University. My first impression of Keith was, wow, <laughs> this gets nuts. <laughs> I want to be on whatever Keith is on, because clearly I haven't had enough. <laughs> Keith was your typical, fun-loving, party-going, college kid and we shared several memories at my apartment that will last forever. The one thing that was apparent about Keith though was he absolutely extraordinarily loved his family and he loved his friends. After college me and Keith kind of lost touch for a couple years. <clears throat> I met my wife moved to Pittsburgh and I wasn't really sure of you know what Keith was doing with himself but I could only imagine <laughs> it wasn't until December 2008 when uh, Facebook status that after Facebook as my mom says Keith had posted partying up in Pittsburgh for New Year's Eve I thought to myself wow Keith Keith is in town in, in Pittsburgh 
and be great to see an old friend. So I called Keith. He said, yeah, we're in town. I met a wonderful girl from Erie, um, and we're in town for New Year's Eve. I said, well, why don't you come over for a couple of drinks? My wife is also from Erie. Um, maybe, you know, we can catch up on small times. <clears throat> so Keith and Nikki came over. We had a few drinks, swapped stories about the good old days at SIU. Great times. <laughs> at the end of that night, uh, we agreed. We should do this again, catch up on old times. Little did we know that that night would not just reconnect to old friends, but it, but it brought uh, another family member into my family. For those of you that know Keith, he's always good for a good laugh, a good joke, usually about the male appendage or his latest law movement. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Keith, you always be a brother, confidant, a friend, and the most dependable friend that's ever come into my life. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Kelly. Thank you, and me and Eric, I love you.